Well, here you can see we've already put the can up on the wall here. So this is our outlet box, and I've already put a Romex connector on this side and a Romex connector on this side as well. And then these here, I use the snap-ins. I kind of like using these sometimes. Uh, it's a lot easier than dealing with those, those nuts, trying to get those nuts on there. So uh, these connectors are needed here to provide strain relief for the Romex cable. So this is the cable for the garbage disposal. It will go right in there and it'll come through into the inside and then we'll connect it up to the back of our outlet. Now this is a metal box and uh, per code, per National Electric Code, anytime you have a metal box you need to connect up a bond or what we call a ground. You have to connect this to the, the system ground and I usually do that with a uh, piece of wire like this. I buy these things by the box because I go through so many of these. And we're going to be screwing it. You can see there's a little mound in there in the back. So this is going to screw right into that mound that you see right there. And then it'll come out and we'll connect this to both of these grounds here. There'll be a ground coming in from this side and there'll be another ground coming in from this side from the dishwasher uh, uh, side there. So Let's go ahead and get that connected up and we'll show you how it will look. Alright, so you can see I've run my wires all through there and I've connected the green wire to the back there using that green screw there. So, what I like to do then is I use my little, uh, these are my three-way wire nuts, my lever nuts here, and I just insert it right in there like that close the door down and then I'll go ahead and I'll plug these other two ground wires into it and then once I do that then this box will be bonded and we'll have a nice perfectly connected system ground alright so got all three pieces in there now I'm just going to close down the last lever right there so these ground wires are all three connected together now. See, there you go, they're all connected nicely. Now I'm just gonna use my little wiring tool here and uh, tuck them all back in there out of the way so we can get ready to wire up the outlet. All right, so here's the outlet and I've already attached a ground wire onto it. And we had to switch this one here this wiring nut, this uh, Wago wiring nut, we had to switch that to a 5 so that we could accommodate one more of these. We didn't have any 4s in stock, but it's okay. They usually come in 2, 3, 5. So we're just going to hook this wire up to that one. So now we just take a step back here and uh, take stock of what we've done here. What we've done is we've completed the system ground here. So the ground comes in from this wire here, see there's the copper, and it comes in from this Romex wire here also, and there's the, the other ground there. And then we connected this green wire to the back of the box, to that where the green nut is back there. See that nut way back in there? And then we connected the last wire to our outlet. So now everything is grounded at the same potential here. And this metal box is now compliant with code. It is now bonded to the system ground. So now we're going to hook up the other uh, sets of wires here. And I just wanted to point out one other thing here for you on the outlet. Now normally when you're doing a garbage disposal and a dishwasher, what you normally see is on these two screws right here there'll be a tab that connects the two and you have to cut that off that tab is what separates the hot wire from the garbage disposal from the hot wire to the dishwasher because they're going to be off of different uh, power so you, you want to make sure that they're not connected together so when you flip that switch on the kitchen counter up there you want to know that it's only going to send power to the garbage disposal and not to the uh, dishwasher as well. And if you were to flip the switch without breaking this tab here, you 
could just pop your whole fuse panel and you might have to go outside your main to um, take care of things, fix it. So this is very important. You want to make sure that these two are only separated when you're using a um, dishwasher and a garbage disposal on the same circuit. On the, you know, two different, two different circuits really in here, but on the same outlet. Now on the other side where you would connect um, the white wires, uh, the white wires can both get connected together. That can stay just like it is, because the whites all get connected at the panel anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these connected up. All right, so you can see as we push these out of the way here, push these back in, get them secured up against the back, get those grounds out of the way. We've connected up the, the two black wires here, and you can see you always go uh, clockwise around the screw when you connect it. That way it tightens down the wire, otherwise you'll loosen the wire. It'll, it'll never want to tighten down. It'll unloop itself. So now we're going to flip this over to the other side here and we're going to connect up the two white wires. All right, so there we are with the, the white wires connected up. Now I'm just gonna run a little tape around. I always like to run tape around all of my terminals just to protect our fingers or anybody else that wants to work on it later on. So there is our final product all taped up with the electrical tape. Now I'm just going to screw this onto the outlet housing there. And here's our finished product. Nice and shiny and new. And we got everything here done to code. All the wires are nice and tight here. And we're just going to tuck this Romex back behind where the drywall is going to go. Drywall will get mounted right in front of this.